Good afternoon. It is 1.42 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday, July 18th, 2016. I have not done a video in quite a while because I've been busy running around being sick and getting well and learning and living and trying to figure out this game. So I decided... Oops, sorry, bumped the table. So I decided as I was sitting here working with my citrine sphere to do a video and um, I didn't watch the last video to know where I was in time and it really doesn't matter um, but I took a month off of work and yeah about four weeks off spent some time with family just really trying to figure some stuff out um, home by myself right now getting ready to head to see my son for his birthday he turns 11 tomorrow so I want to be there like in his face in the morning like hey you feel any different you're 11 now and all that kind of stuff so I spent some time with him and moving my oldest sister to Alabama and I mean, I've really, I've really been all over the place as far as, like, my emotions related to that. I love her very much, and I know that she is cautiously optimistic and looking forward to the challenges that will present themselves in moving away from the state that you grew up in to Alabama as a black woman in She's going to be with my Twinkie twin, and um, I guess at first I felt some type of way because, like, why didn't my twin invite me to move to Alabama? And then I didn't, I realized I don't want to live in Alabama, so if she wants to go there, that's great. I think that the kind of work that she'll be able to do with my sister is right in line with her personality and she'll be very fulfilled because she's task oriented and she'll be able to earn more money for herself and just learn and get away from just change her environment so that she can change her life and I'm looking forward to celebrating her success as far as that's concerned um, I am back at work on the phone and I've been doing a lot of exercises related to fundamental clarity and kind of just looking at things just as they are removing any emotion from them which is an exercise definitely um, the whole thing with exercises to build up some type of strength or endurance or capability and mentally I feel so much stronger um, I'm doing better with being more grounded in the moment and also being mindful of my actions, my the things that I eat, the food that I drink, um, all that kind of stuff. It's and bit by bit it's coming together. Um, I can't quite tell in looking at this, but I, I'm sure that if I go back and look at a video from August, October last year that I'll be able to see a lot of difference in my face because I'm down to 330 now which is probably the smallest that I've been since I can remember um, I think the the last smallest I was or the last time I remember being something was about 350 and I generally don't keep track of my weight um, but I'm doing more things and to be healthier and to be my best version. Um, my 
ex was telling me that, you know, my life seems like a disaster. And I guess from the outside looking in, it could seem that way, but I mean, all in all, I can honestly say that I'm happier than I have been in a long time. Like, I have stopped being concerned about what other people think, um, stopped um, releasing my concerns about what other people do. I'm more focused on myself, loving myself, and radiating that love when I interact with other people, and letting that be a blessing. I've decided that I do want to open a crystal and gem shop, so I because I really like um, dealing with the the crystals. I've been learning about essential oils and doing aromatherapy when I do my spiritual practices. Um, I reject pretty much any and all religion and for the most part quasi-spirituality as well because <clears throat> it's just really a means of control and like I'm working to break free of that so I don't want to be driven by fear or worry, doubt, or lack, so I'm encouraging other people to be fearless, to not worry, to have confidence in themselves, and to appreciate and acknowledge the abundance in their lives. So, bit by bit, it's coming together. Um, I... It's working. It really is working. Um, Mia ended up in the hospital and I went to be with her and ended up getting strep throat. So that pushed back my return to work. Um, all things in divine order. I went back to work for a couple of days and now I'm off this week trying to clean my house from really not being here that much. So I'm going to take my sweet time getting out of here because I don't quite know where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. So getting prepared and I also am packing up the majority of my crystals so that I can do some crystal work while I'm in Alabama and um, all that good stuff. Um, the boys went to visit my brother in Georgia and his wife who were super religious or I guess, I, don't, I mean they go to church every Sunday so I really don't know what like super religious is. Um, but whereas I guess they had fun moments during their visit, um, in general, their, my niece and nephew made them feel unwelcome the entire time they were there. I mean, they got there and like the next day my nephew was asking my sister-in-law when they were leaving and my sister told me that, um, my niece said, I'm glad you're finally leaving. I didn't want you here, and I told my parents as much. I'm like, okay. That comment is indicative of the fact that they don't know each other. So um, the boy's dad is pretty unhappy about the fact that they were made to feel unwelcome while they were there, which is unfortunate. Um, and I'm just trying to look at, okay, how can we fix that? I mean, that's the main reason why I want, told my brother that I want to get to know my niece and nephew. And we really can't do that without spending time with each other. And, you know, fundamental clarity. Ask why. Why is it you didn't want them to be there? I mean, you don't like having company. What is it about them that you don't want there? So many questions. So many questions. And, I mean, I intend to ask them all because family is important. Um, also, understanding that we are all family is important. We're all connected. And when we forget or ignore that connection, it ends up, you know, remember to look out for each other and to love each other and to treat each other with love and respect, starting with ourselves. So, um, I can really tell that I'm growing emotionally, mentally, um, 
I'm trying to get to the point where I can talk about things that really upset me without crying. Because I'm super emotional and I'm in my period zone right now, so I'm proud of myself for being as centered as I am particularly. So, but looking forward to a lovely trip of um, working to slow time down a little bit when I get to Georgia and just enjoy every moment that I can with my sisters and with my sons and with my nieces and with Anita and everything like that. Um, Anita had started to have an allergic reaction and then worked herself into a panic attack and um, you know I this is horrible to think, but I wonder if, you know, the next time she does that, if I just let her pass out on the ground and flop around like a fish until whatever, or get her some oxygen or a fan or whatever and tell her to calm the fuck down. Because she essentially picked a fight. Oh, she asked me, <clears throat> you know, why do we keep asking her for help? when it involves things that could be dangerous to her health because she has allergies and is prone to allergic reactions but often when she has these it's not an actual allergic reaction so much as a panic attack that she works herself into so um, our response was you know because we need help I mean if you need help ask for it if you don't get it then fine what needs to be done will get done by somebody, either the person that asked for the help, or they'll get help doing it, or they'll pay somebody to do it, one way or another, it'll all get figured out, so, um, she did not like the answer, kind of stormed off, and she's been doing her own thing ever since then, so that's been about a week now, yeah, so, um, push comes to shove, it is what it is, but, um, I'm just not, I'm resolving myself to talk to her, to listen to what she has to say, and worry about myself, and, um, she knows that, you know, that behavior is going to have consequences, and I'm really, like, mulling it over, just, I'm back and forth with myself as far as okay she has all these expectations as far as what I'm going to do but does not feel as though as asking her for help is reasonable so okay fine I won't ask you for help I'll figure out how to get the things done that I need done on my own and you know when you need my help I will exercise my right to decide what I want to do and part of me is like don't just say no just start saying no just start saying no 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 and I will decide in that moment or prior to that through energy testing and just inner query as to whether or not I'm going to comply with the request or grant a a request that's asked of me instead of just deciding now no I'm going to say no to everything i have pretty much decided I'll decide in that moment and part of me is just you know just do it because you can and let her worry about how she feels about it but I'll do it because I want to and then we'll go from there because yeah she um, wants to talk to me a lot about um, the things that we talked about not happening however she has not acknowledged the fact that more often than not the things that we talk about don't work out the way that she said they will and I just roll with it I don't even make a big deal out of it so it's not worth the stress I have so many other things about myself to sort out read my books, drink my water eat my healthy food be happy, 
meditate, get my energy right, listen to my something, and then everything's going to be okay. So that was about 15 minutes of my rambling. I'm going to go ahead and shut this on out. Remember to love you. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> All right. Take care.